that one time that they told us to have dinner together. <laughs> like that's supposed to be some plot line or something. Well, that or, leads into in, Vance's weird decision of he just lets Saru do it. He's like, you can't let your crew see somebody die. That's just, it's just unacceptable. Well, like, <laughs> I actually, I didn't mind that scene. I thought that scene was pretty good. Do you? I, 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 don't, continue- I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. buy that. I don't like. Well, I go, am on go, the fence about it. Yeah. Well, go go on to like. So not only does Discovery have the only means of quick travel in this universe, it is now a supercomputer that can figure yeah. everything out, and no one cares. No one wants Discovery. Right. And then Vance, yeah. like you think that would just add to the fire of Vance being like, "We got to lock Discovery down. I can't let you people leave anywhere to do bullshit with some Terran Empire person. Fuck you. <laughs> like I'm taking over this ship. Right." That's the only thing that makes sense for Vance for me. I don't I don't know. I like Vance as a character, but he's just another in the mold of Pike character at this point and like mm-hmm. you expect him to turn a little bit or you expect something to work against Saru and Burnham there. And it never happens. It's just everyone right. glad-handing each other going like, "Well, Captain Saru, I hope you jump over there." It, it's well, just stupid. The the thing that I do like about it is it continues my what I think is the strongest storyline, which is Saru figuring out how to be a captain. And that in that scene, he makes the decision he makes a decision that's very much the by the book, best for the Federation decision. And Vance comes at him with the knowledge of being an experienced Starfleet officer slash captain admiral, where he's like, Sometimes you gotta do things for the benefit of your crew. Um, especially since like the, (laughs) I wish he had been like, Saru, we don't need discovery to watch them do training exercises. (laughs) It's, it's a, it's a bunch of pirates (laughs) threatening to do training exercises on the coast of, of Cuba or something. We, if this isn't, this isn't the Cuban missile crisis, we can, you can take off for a couple of days, you know, like it's, I think his order, um, his order of saying the things is wrong. That's the speech you give. After he comes back and they get reprimanded, the 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 job of the admiral is not to stand there and go, yeah, do whatever you want, fuck it, like, that's like, true, yeah. like YOLO, sure. whatever. He gives them the order, they break it because Saru's like, this is the important thing that matters, and this is the time where I need to be that. And then if you want to if you want to soften Vance, they come back and he's like, Saru, you did the wrong thing, but you did the right thing at the same time. Wink, wink. I'll see you. Right. On, I'll see you on the other side. Like that. It's just. It, you just neuter Vance by having him yeah. have this point of view, and he's what's, you he, do what's also, he there for? You do also neuter Saru as well because Vance is now siding with Burnham. Yes, giving not, just telling Saru what to do. It's not like Saru comes yeah. to this and is like, "Oh, I should I should do what's right." It's Vance tells him what to do. Yeah, and I, I also would like even in that speech when he when he's like, uh, in this in this instance, you have to. A, a member of your crew is is at the brink and you really need to take care of them so the other members of your crew can uh, see that you'll do the same thing for them. And in my head, I'm going, why does anybody respect George Ao as a member of the Discovery crew? Yeah. She hasn't done anything. <laughs> she, as far as I know, she just hangs around in her room the whole time. She's still space Hitler. Yep. There's, there's nothing... In that like conversation where where they're like you know she did some really bad things but if if we admit that she's not worth saving then is really anybody worth saving you know one of those mm-hmm. things at least some acknowledgement that she is this genocidal madman madwoman from an alternate dimension who is just hanging out on the ship right um, <clears throat> or at least or even go the other way if Vance is against it have Saru be like you know. I didn't really consider her a, a, a I never trusted her and I didn't consider her a valuable member of the crew but she has shown time and time again that she has stepped up in order to help the people on discovery blah 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 which is questionable at best yeah it's, be it's, a, it's a little bit of a weak that. argument but I, I can't but, just but totally honestly, disprove it yeah honestly it's it's better than nothing um so yeah it is a weird conversation I like what Saru learns out of it but I don't like the way that they get there 